Hey guys and dolls. So welcome to my Midori eyeshadow outfit tutorial. Um, Midori is Japanese for green, but uh, it's also a liqueur that is made, I believe, in Mexico. Uh, and it's melon flavored, so I went for a green look, but I went ahead with the hot pink lips. Um, the dazzle glass that I used over my hot pink is called Sugar Rimmed. I thought that kind of went with the cocktail theme. Uh, if you're under the age of 18, obvious, or 21 in the United States or 18 in Canada, obviously don't drink. Mm -mm, don't do it. It's illegal. Um, but Midori also means green, so I went with totally matchy-matchy icky poo. I've got, you know, the green shirt on, like all green eyeshadow, and then also I wore a green perfume. Like I said, matchy matchy icky poo. This is a very easily dupable look. I mean, I made a video in a really, really, really long time. So I'm really rusty. So if I'm really awkward or weird in this video, sorry. Hope you guys like the look. See you later. Remember to be vintage or tacky, but just be yourself. And you could use all kinds of different stuff that you have, and I use some cheaper products too. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and... Um, Check out my blog because it's got a full list of products. It's got pictures. Um, I'm updating my swatch blog or my swatch page every single day. I've added a forum, blah, blah, blah. Um, anything else? Um, I've got new hair, for one. I put orange in it. I think I like it. I think I kind of want to go back to red. I know. I've had pink hair. This is the longest I've had pink hair in, like, forever, but... I'm, I'm kind of missing the red lately. I saw a girl on the street the other day with red hair, and it made me insanely jealous, so. Um, other things, I have a contest coming up. Yeah, you just heard me say the C word. Contest. So excited. I recently hit 10,000 subscribers, so thank you all so, so, so much for subscribing and watching my videos and commenting and rating and uh, subscribing. Uh, I... It would just be me in front of a camera if it wasn't for all of you. So I really appreciate every single last one of you, and I want you to know that. So there will be a contest. Anyway, I'm I'm rambling at this point. I have so I've already put my Too Faced shadow insurance all over both my lids as a primer. A primer just stops your eyelids from getting all creasy and gross and stuff like that. If you want to know more about primers, I have a video that's all about primers and eyeshadow bases. Um, next, I'm taking a Taclon brush, which is a synthetic brush, and I'm using Ferro Paint Pot from MAC. Um, any kind of green base would work, or you could totally use a yellow base, like uh, the NYX Jumbo Pencil, and I think it's called Yellow or Lemon or something like that. Um, or you could use just white. Honestly, whatever you want to use is fine, but I'm using this. And I use the brush just because it gives me a more precise application. Because I'm trying to control where it's going. Okay, so I get that on the bottom part of my lid, and then I take my finger and run along the edge to blend it out. Okay, now I'm going to take a just random fluffy eyeshadow brush, and this color, which is 3 over, 3 down, on the original uh, 80 palette, the matte and satin one. Um, I have about a million different colors that are just like this, except that uh, this is the only matte one that I have, and I want matte. I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. And at first, I'm patting it on, like this. And once you pat it on enough color, I just run my brush over the whole thing to make it smooth so there's no patchiness. Okay, so the next eyeshadow I'm using is a dark blue color. I'm using Blue Flame. This was released with last year's Cool Heat collection. I got mine at a CCO a few weeks back, so you guys might still be able to get it. Um, you could use any dark, semi-shimmery blue, honestly. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's blue, right? I mean, you could use, like, Morocco from uh, NYX. I mean, honestly, you use whatever you want. 
So anyway, I got some of that on my, um, like, angled crease brush. This is a 272. And I'm going to draw a line out, and then I'm going to bring it in. And I'm holding the brush on my lid this way. Okay, so I went ahead and did it on both sides, and then I took this other angled eyeshadow brush in the same color, and I just made that edge a little bit cleaner. I just think it helps to balance it when the top is really, really kind of um, soft looking, but then the edges look kind of sharp. It's just a shape that I like. Obviously, you're going to do whatever you want. Now I'm taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to blend out the top edge of my blue color okay and now I've got that all blended out and it really ends up being more of like a teal color you could actually have used teal pigment or you know anything that you want um, now I'm going to take a Kelly Green. This one's called Olivia Green, and it is from Glamourdoll Eyes. And if you'd like to see an example of how pigmented this color is, I'm going to put a link in the sidebar to a video that I did for uh, a collaborative channel that I do with uh, Vin uh, blah, blah, with my eyeshadows odd and candyish makeup. Uh, I painted my face with this color, and it was like psycho intensely pigmented it was crazy anyway I'm taking that on the same brush that I used to blend out my crease and I'm just putting that in the outer corner with the belly of the brush and then I'm gonna flip it over to the clean side and just blend it this color is redonkulously pigmented I mean I just took like what like the little bits that were on in the cap and I'm just using that and I'm not gonna have to redip it into the pot to do the other side okay now to blend out this area here which is already blended out but I want to put a little bit more color there I'm just taking what was left on the brush that I used to apply the lid color and I'm just gonna run it along that edge like that. Okay, now I'm going to highlight, and for this I'm going to use my Truco palette. Is it Truco or Truco? Truco? Whatever. Um, I'm going to use this last color here, which is kind of like a green reflect. Um, I wouldn't say that you have to have this palette or anything like that. Uh, it's nice for makeup artists and stuff because they don't have to have like jars of a lot of like the duochromes from mineral companies are really really amazing um, but carrying around all those little jars can be a pain so if you're a makeup artist this is great um, for the average everyday person it's okay you don't need it you can get the same duochromes from any company anyway um, I'm just going to put that on my inner corner I'm going to blend it into my crease color. Okay, so I finished applying my eyeliner and mascara, and then I applied this lipstick from Milani called Rose Hip. It's a very bright, intense pink. Mine is the round version. I think now they're selling this kind that has sort of a geometrical look to it. I mean, not that a circle isn't a geometrical shape, but you know what I mean. Um, and it has, those ones have like a kind of a berry-ish kind of smell that I don't like. This is the round kind, and it has the same smell as like vanilla lip stuff from MAC. I'm going to be putting Sugar Rimmed over that, because I thought that went with the theme of the cocktail. So...
So that is my Midori look. This is inspired by the color of my favorite drink. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a wonderful weekend. I have a really super exciting tutorial coming up that I hope you guys will all love. So I will see you guys very soon and stay tubed. Have a good one. Bye. So we're going with Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. Okay, so though, now your lids are bright and intense with this amazing color. And if you have ever in your life, of course, only if you're over 21 in the U.S. and over 18 in Canada and wherever else in the rest of the world. Um, but if you've ever had a Midori melon ball, this is the exact same color. This is like, hello, you're looking at my poison. Mm -hmm. Midori is... Hey guys, so um, 